Hello, hello, how's it going? I am using my phone today. Hope everything is going perfectly slow for you guys. Alright, so let's see what sort of blessings are coming towards you in December. Using the Blessed Be Oracle deck. What kind of blessings can we get for the collective, please? What is the collective getting for blessings in the month of December? For both Facebook and YouTube collective. Goodness. A lot of blessings. Um, I feel there's going to be a lot coming your way already. Um, unexpected things, possibly. Because I wasn't expecting that to just, like, you know, just whew, go all over there. So I'm feeling that was, like, for the message right there where nothing had come out yet. So spirit was like, all right, let's make sure. All right, so yeah, a blessing on your day. So could be talking about Christmas, could be talking about um, just a particular day this month that you so fancy. This would be, you know, whatever you feel it is. All right, so it's backwards. I'm seeing, all right, this is my first time using my phone. Okay. So five could be changes, something about changing, changing um, a business, changing um, a location, changing a car, changing uh, an idea, changing your mind about something, a blessing of protection as well, a blessing of protection. Then we also have a blessing for good men and fathers. Ain't that wonderful? So you're embracing your masculine side as well, I'm gathering. Good, good. And you're being protective of everything you have, your family and your, you know. Yeah, definitely making changes here because the, the a blessing of protection is five. So definitely making changes here. And then a blessing for good men and fathers is 13, which adds up to four. So stabilization being like the foundation. So yeah, there's definitely going to be like, you know, unexpected changes or turnabout in like, you know, a man that you see around you or, you know, just your masculine side you see is, you know, um, changing and, you know, you're maybe you're embracing your, you know, your darkness, you know, like that, which is good. Um, and you're allowing it to your spirit guides to help you through this process, crowning you as you get through it. At the end, you're going to be crowned successful for being able to do this. Uh, so this is very wonderful, being able to get through whatever it is you have been going through that it would be a blessing on your day that, like, you know, unexpectedly went and changed things up and, you know, resulted in ultimate perfection. Not perfection, but, you know, anyways, could be, you know, um, in the end, just ultimate perfection. So, yeah, I'm seeing this as wonderful. All right, bottom of the deck is a blessing on your health. With the dragon. Oh, that's so beautiful. Number nine. Yeah, see? Fulfillment. Oop. 
blessing on creativity. Alrighty, thank you so much, Spirit, for those beautiful messages. journey of love just in case we're here for love and not like business or anything like that Alrighty, what can we get for collective for love just family matters or just you know love all together let's see what we can get Messages, please, for the collective of Facebook and collective. I mean, YouTube collective. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we have She Loves. She Loves. All right, so this is 61, so seven, you know, definitely growing an expansion here. You know, you're just, you know, planting those seeds so you can grow and expand. That's pretty much what you're doing. I see a lot of growth, though, because of the green. A lot of, you know, possibly thinking about money coming from your heart space, you know, just, you know, flowing. Okay. Okay. But she loves, definitely. Could be talking about anything here, so take the energy as it resonates. And definitely book a personal if, it, if you resonate with that. Just for a moment, joy. Just for a moment, joy. Beautiful. And like, her heart has been like, open like it's like a beam of light coming from her chest like she's like it feels like a brand new person it feels like pretty much like she just let herself open like like she surrendered everything and like her heart and soul like she's like yes you know like i'm surrendering everything just to you know just to feel you know that's how that's what i'm getting right there just for a moment joy and then 70, heaven, definitely could be thinking about past loved ones that have passed on. Um, this card, she loves, could be talking about someone that you know that has passed on. She's coming through saying she loves you, hands down. So heaven, yeah. Okay, wonderful. And the bottom of the deck is... The bride offers herself. Oh my goodness, someone getting married? Someone's getting married? Hmm, let's see if the four of wands comes up. And the three of cups comes up in the reading, the tarot reading. Let's see, let's see. Now I'm intrigued. Unexpected changes? Are those the unexpected changes? Someone's going to propose to you out of the blue? Oh, let's see here. I wonder, and if it's not like a proposal, maybe it's like the step up of your level of, not your level, of your relationship, i.e. you could be having a baby, you could be like thinking about, you know, together going out to buy something for your, your, your house, um, <clears throat> but together, or buying a new car together. You know, just doing stuff oh, together. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit, for those beautiful messages. Okay. Alrighty, what can we get? Six cards, please. The Sojourner, King of Mirrors. We have the King of Cups here. King of Cups. Alrighty, so steady in your emotions, you know, like tippity top, you know, at times, uh, 
uh, like standoffish when it comes to emotions and everything. Like nothing can get you down or anything like that. You're in control of your emotions. Let's put it that way. And then next we have the watcher. This is someone, this is you or this is someone you know. So take the energy how it resonates. The watcher, queen of cups. So we have both the queen, the king of cups and the queen of cups. Oh my goodness. So they both wanted to come out tonight. It's p.m. for me here. So they both wanted to come out for me, uh, well, you know, for us all tonight here. Hmm. So definitely keeping an eye on your loved ones, you know, loving, loving hard, you know, not, you know, letting up on that love. And maybe that's why the King of Cups is over here being like, well, I need to be in control of all this just in case it gets out of hand, just in case anything is taken advantage or anything like that. Maybe this King of Cups is being a little bit too controlling. You will know if the energy resonates with you. That's what the King of Cups can represent. I have not, you know, put this deck, you know, upside down in any way and shuffled it. So take the energy as it is for you. I mainly only read um, upside, you know, upright, <laughs> upside. Um, it's the upside, you know, right? Anyways, but we get both negative and positive things with only upright cards as well. So let's keep that in mind as well, which obviously we all know that if especially we've been watching um, Oracle on Tarot cards readings and stuff like that so yeah definitely a, a mother father figure here and a full of wisdom and um spontaneity uh, spontaneity whatever <laughs> and uh we have nine of skulls so you could be dealing with any air signs as well aquarius libra and gemini um, yeah, and so the cups, you could be dealing with any water signs, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, and, uh, Pisces. So the nine of scrolls here, wow, you're, you know, you're definitely depressed and stuff, definitely depressed and sulking and, you know, down in the dumps, not feeling good, not feeling right, you know, you know, mentally drained, you know, done, you know, you're, you're you've, you know, you've uh, thought so much, you've done so much. So it feels, and you're at the end of your rope mentally, and you're like, what, what's going to give? Well, the blessings, if you resonate with those, you're soon going to be coming out of that feeling. Um, seven of spirals. So you're uh, seven of wands here. So could be dealing with now a fire sign. Alrighty, so Aries. Aries, um, Aries, uh, oh my goodness, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, there we go, sorry about that, I got thinking over here, I know what was going on in the living room, my bad, alrighty, alright, so this video is 13 minutes long, hopefully it uploads on YouTube and Facebook without no problem, on my phone, and set it, okay, alrighty, so, this is the sixth card, wait, no, not the sixth card, alright, green man, the emperor, yeah, I could be dealing with an Aries, maybe that was why I stuck right on Aries for a little bit, and couldn't remember the Leo or the Sagittarius, hmm. So yeah, definitely standing your ground, standing up for yourself, and that's maybe why you're feeling so drained and so, like, you know, tired, so depressed, so, you know, unable to sleep, even though, you know, that's all you want to possibly do, being depressed and everything, because nothing really feels fulfilling until, like, maybe you're sleeping or whatever like that, and then you're, you're in the dreamland. All right, so green man, you could be dealing with, like I said, an Aries anyone that shows those characteristics I already have the mentally controlling can be over here if upside down but obviously I only mainly read uprights but if it does come um, up, you know upside down then I do obviously take that into consideration but yeah mm, definitely an authoritative controlling figure here so, um, definitely steadfast at his work and, you know, really gets things done. 
Finn's a team builder here, a team builder. Pretty much um, leader of a company, still a builder though, because you're building that company up. And that company was, you know, started from the bottom and it's where you're ever at now. So, team building. One more card, please. One more card. What can we get? Get a Facebook and YouTube collective. One more card, please. For the energy of December. be standing up for yourself when it comes to work matters. So I'm going to take that one and that one, put those ones back. So the moon card, yeah, something comes out possibly that you didn't know. There's stuff here that's being illuminated as well. The moon is illuminating things, opening up things that you maybe did not see before. Well, now you're going to be able to see it. Bella Rosa, the devil, yeah, things... Uh, strings attached, feeling, you know, lustful, feeling addicted to things. Uh, this could be, you know, a person you're dealing with that's making you feel uh, stressed out and depressed and unable to sleep, unable to, you know, think, unable to having your guard up and, you know, just, you know, and if this is you at times being authoritative and, you know, having to take control of the situation because at the end of the day, you know, the devil is here. So you have to take that into consideration. And we have strength, Papa Legva. Papa Legva, strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. Um, alrighty. So yeah, could be dealing with a Leo. Hmm. Okay. So there goes that. And alrighty. Well, thank you very much. I hope you all resonated with this message. I know you all won't resonate with this message, but I know, like, you know, a lot of you will and everything. So please make sure to share this around. If you want a personal reading, please make sure to book one with me. If this resonated with you, please like and comment. And um, if you want to obviously help build this channel, share it around. And definitely subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can continue to see my content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great night. Bye-bye.